It is March 23rd. We're going to be doing the Daily Patrol. We got about a week left of the current season, which is season two. And the team did mention that if you get the badge for this season, that you'll be able to, it sounds like, mint a kind of special NFT of Shadow Links, which is this guy. Uh, now, will I use this one? Maybe. Let's see what we got here. So, Frozen Assets. Oh no, your Infusions bag is frozen shut. You can only draw one. Infusion per wave. Wow, interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Wow, so I can only draw one infusion per wave. So I get seven, there's gonna be seven waves. And I, I imagine that if I get rewarded with an infusion that I can draw that one. It sounds like my bag's shut so I can only pull one out. And this is my bag I'm stuffing right now. So I don't know if it would make sense to grab eight. Because could you actually plant it? Well, maybe. Yeah, because you start wave one. And then you have up until wave seven. So I think you can only plant seven. I might grab an eighth, but like I probably should keep that in mind. And it could be tricky because if I pull Tema, it's good for energy and stuff, but... I could be pretty thoughtful about what I use here. I could be in a situation where I got like an armored guy and I think, I, I think a muscle branch would be a prudent choice here. Last word, sapweed would be good. Sapweed's do some solid damage. Maybe an aqua fern. Like I'm kind of, I'm trying to mix it up here, but let's see also what we have for artifacts. We can pick two. And I was thinking they were going to give me the colored fragments, but oh boy, I could do the enemy speed and the damage. So we go for it. Another Dark Creeper. I want to really make sure I get a Dark Creeper. It's going to be really important. Hi, kitty. All right, I gotta take care of my cat here in a sec. Okay, so let's do blight level three and let's get it going. All right, it's like a ice river here. So, wow, and there's a spot right there. So I'm thinking something like this is really nice because they give you the opportunity to block that. So I think they're really, excuse me, they're really giving you that. So they block that. And then have them go something like, and this is also nice if I just put basic seedlings. Seedlings, this is a nice cleansing spot too, so I might take that. Because it could allow me to block some of this, so they do something like this. So I can put guys here. That would be really great. I could put Dark Reaper here. That would be perfect. Like Dark Reapers along this way would be awesome. And then this. Like something like that where they're walking. Ooh, like this. Oh, that would be sick. So that all my guys are kind of like seeing everyone twice. That would be odd. Oh no, but this is all blocked. Okay, I gotta have to go a little higher then. I would do this. Well, I could do this. I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> I just like had him go down and back. I guess. Um... Okay, okay, I think I see. Hold on. 
okay, like that would probably be cool. And then, uh, oh, wait for it. Oh, okay, right around. Something like that. All right. So I got a block. Oh, I got a block. This. All that, which is very doable. And if I have to scoot them this way, I'd be okay with that as well. Something like this would also be fine. There's a general shape, right? It doesn't have to be perfect, but. And I need a lot of seedlings. But I think that that's like the requirements here where I only get one plant, one infusion each wave is very uh, pro seedling. And then I have to block. All of this jazz. Like I said, it's very doable. Okay. That I think is the plan. Because then all these guys are just, this is going to be where the bulk of my damage is. I think that'll work pretty well. So this is a nice cleansing. I would ideally not have like a, I'd like something there. Like a plant, so that's perfect. And this, this gets interesting. I do want to, when I get the plant, I got to plant the darn thing. And it's just a Tema, so I don't really care where it is. It doesn't have to be in a, it shouldn't be one of, one of my prime spots. So I'll probably put it here so that I can water it with something else next wave. I don't need to, I don't need to water it now. It's not really important. Start getting this laid out. If I have another good blight cleansing, I'll take it. Mm, that one's not super important. I mean, I, I do want that cleansed. Well, actually, they could go this way too, but I kind of want them to rub right against my plants here. So I kind of do want to take that. And what is this, just blight bugs? Yeah, easy. How much HP do they have? I think they have 20. So if he's doing double damage, that would be preferred. I might need to actually take the, instead of taking the cleansing, I, I'd want them to go the other way. So I probably do this. Just to really make sure Shadowlands can take care of them all, but he had to field day with these bugs. They basically like my them. So this is what I was talking about. If you get an infusion, I think it's really good to take that because there we go. Now we can plant both what we got and the new infusion. If I didn't get a spot for this guy is interesting. I think muscle branch I'd want to be towards the end. I think this would be a good spot for him. And then Fireflower could be somewhere else. You could actually start planting some lava. Like I do volcano. That could actually be pretty fun. But the problem is it, it costs some money to keep moving Fireflower. So from a cost perspective or a points perspective, it's not great. Even if it is super effective. So I'm gonna avoid that. I didn't get any cleansings here. I would want cleansings here eventually. I gotta get this guy planted. But, uh, it might be worth doing one. Yeah, I'm trying to maximize score here, so I'm probably just gonna plant the guy and, and just water him. I'm gonna put him here, but that seems odd right now. Well, if I can push them up, that would be even better. So I'll probably put it here. Wow. I'll put it here. I think that'll be better. And then I'll water. What's coming out? Simlings. Okay, I actually want water. I actually want more seedlings. They're gonna go boom, boom, boom. I gotta start blocking this path over here. I think I'll probably put one in there, but I don't know if I wanna do that now because they need to maximize them getting hurt. Right now I'm having them go boom, 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 boom. But the problem with that is that these guys are like not involved at the end, which I don't like. So I'm thinking of just having them go along this way. So 
maybe this is okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. And then I could put Shadow Links right here. Yeah, that'll probably work. I think I'll save my Radiance. I just hope this is enough uh, attackers. Kill the Slime Links, because those basic seeds are very slow attackers. Nice. Oh right. They're giving me lots of infusions. That's really good. Okay, I gotta I gotta patch this up here. Which I can completely do without having the cleanse. That was the goal. It's gonna make for a very long pad. But let's see what we got. We got slime lings and yeah, all all squishy guys. No armor. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna patch this up. Now I wanna make sure I can plant these guys too. But I do I can use Tema for extra energy. That's a really nice path now. And then, oh, I love where uh, the Shadow Links is. If I do this, I can't level them up though. That's kind of brutal. I really want to make sure I level up Dark Creeper. Well, no, I can put them on the ice. Questions where exactly? Sons of Guns. This would be a nice spot for Sapweed. I don't know if I can even put Dark Creeper down. Well, I can probably put him down somewhere. I can get three more energy. If I need it. I want to get both these guys down. And we're at wave three. I don't have to water everyone yet, but I would like to. Get that eventually. It's hard to get them all watered. The only way I could do that, I think, is putting one, two, but then Muscle Branch is barely involved with the pathing, which is not good. That would be a single watering. Like, at minimum, I do want to water here, but then I'm all out, and then I can't plant both. I think it's super important. It's more important that I get them planted so that I can have an infusion for next round. That's different. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. And then I'll do one extra energy. And then I have to decide if I plant Timic here. This is a really nice spot. That would be amazing, but he wouldn't be getting leveled up. So this is like a this is a decent spot, but then these guys are not really in the fight at the end. I don't like that. I'd probably prefer to put them here. And I may I may have two Dark Reapers. This would be a nice spot too, but ah, it's it's really tough. In hindsight, I probably should have put Dark Creeper here, but. Maybe here wouldn't be so bad either. So I'm going to get him down. This guy ranch. Well, now I might get this guy ranch. I think getting like anti armor. I don't know what wave five is going to have. The shuttle is just eating up the slime links, but they're going to start going a little faster. Like those little clumps there. Well, he still crushes it, but later when there's a lot more guys, it's going to get pretty dicey. So I think getting this guy with splash or uh, range and the the goopy puddle it's gonna be really good. All right, solid uh boon there. I'll take a uh, non infusion. 
but I will take the extra radiance. And now we gotta get, oh, another, okay. Yeah, I did, they did give me another sapweed. So maybe like one at the end here would not be a bad idea. But I also wanna think about watering. Because if I water here, and then up here, I'll probably put them up here. Because that's just two waterings. Yeah, I'll do that, and then I'll do a watering up here. Or maybe up here, because these guys are not going to get sap weeded and uh, splashed by this guy until here. So I'm going to put them like, up farther this way. I wonder if I even send these guys up this way. That might even be better. They won't encounter Shadowlings. I guess it depends what comes out of there. So what's coming out? Uh, nothing this round. So I'll probably want to leave that open. I don't know yet. A place I could certainly put them is here. I think would be would be good. Do that. Uh, beyond that, just cleansings, I guess. Everyone's leveled up. Yep. I'll do a nice cleansing here. Ooh. That's interesting. If I get a Tema, that would be a really good spot. And then, do we have armored guys? We do. So let's get Fragile. And give this guy a range. That should be good. Nice, another uh, infusion. Boons are pretty good this this round. Oh, you know what? Right here is so good. So should I give him more range? But we'll probably hold off on that for a bit. Now the big thing is armor source Rex probably because I see this guy. Where are you? There you are, you little sucker. So. What I'm going to do is find a place for this guy just to conserve waterings. I'll probably put him like here. He'll attack slower, but. Now the question is the anti armor, what would be more important to have this guy? He's going to be hitting the armor source Rex, but like, I probably want to give this guy 30 damage, so 60 damage with the double damage. I think it's going to be important. And then maybe let's get this guy involved. Make sure we can kill that um, armor source Rex. Now, I don't, not, not my favorite spot here to cleanse because this is Shadow Links' zone, but I could also move Shadow Links elsewhere. So I'm going to go for that. I could put them like over here and send these guys. Ooh, it'd be cool if I could actually do that. It'd be cool if I could bump these guys to go around that way. Uh, not exactly what I wanted, but okay. They put a rock there. That's kind of lame now. That'd be great for a thorny. Yeah, not ideal, but... Shadowlings can keep a lot of the other guys at bay. So that if there's like a boss coming out of here, which there might be, um, I gotta be doing some shadow links stuff here. Get out of here. Crap, you might not be able to scare that guy. No, darn it. That's, I think the team has it though. So yeah, he can keep the other guys at bay while <laughs> they're focusing on the boss. I can get another dark creeper over here. That would be Pretty awesome. Because, like, Shadowlings is losing a ton of his abilities there. Alright, well, we were talking about Thornies and the RNG 
heard me, so that's great. <laughs> and then I would want to water here, because if I put other stuff here, that would be good. One. Uh, two. And then we'll do three. And then we can get Aquifern there, but I don't have any more energy. Crap. That stinks. Yeah, that that's ah, a bummer. Darn it. That's a bummer. I can't get Aquifern down. But even though they are giving me... Yeah, I, it's, that's a bummer. I would have ideally put him down too, but... It's what it is. Me having to do two blood cleansings last round is not ideal in such a small spot. I'm going to get pump iron going. It's going to be important for the end game. Not as important for this round, but... Shadow Link's back to doing double damage. I'm facing some blight, which is great. I kind of let them gain on me too much there, but this is a, I really love the, how they have to face all these guys and then come around and face some of them, all of them again, because Sepui's doing uh, extra range. Um, yeah, I think this would be fine as long as I have the energy for it. I got to move, uh, probably shadow links down here. Ooh, and a blight Colossus. So. That's yeah, armor source Rex is coming out right at the gate. It's probably another boss out of here. No, there isn't. Wow. Okay, it's two bosses. Solvent would be cool, but I don't have enough stuff for that. I committed to this guy, so I'm gonna do the plus four damage. Ooh, this one's actually probably more important though. Because he also needs the buff. Uh he 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 needs a tier two. So I'm gonna do goop everywhere. Prefers non-goop though, so I'll probably actually do this one. And then We'll get, ooh, I could probably go this way. I think I like that better because Shadow Links will be involved. And then this is water. So now this is, I'm benefiting from this. So how many plants did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, yeah. And they gave me, I think four. So I think there's one plant I wasn't able to plant. And that was my fault. But um, yeah, the boons are pretty good. Getting a muscle branch, getting like a muscle branch in the wave seven is not great. I probably would have preferred two, the plus two radiance at this point, but because if I got that, I could have gotten this guy up. But not too bad. And then a blight cleansing somewhere dense would be good. And then I got one left. I'll just do that. Okay, it should be. I think I feel pretty good about this. I stopped the play Colossus. I slowed him down. Which is helpful, I think. But we'll see how it all shakes out. This guy is gunning, but that Blast Root's really doing some good work there, plus Muscle Branch. Like, things get really stuck here, because you got Sapweed slowing them down and the Ice, and they just absolutely crawl. That's why I love getting Sapweed and Ice Thistle together, or Frostpaw, because the, the, the different types of slowness adding up is just crazy and if you get this guy doing exa heat exhaustion that's a fire type of slow so they're like triply slowed so this guy's a lot but this guy's gonna muscle bridge is gonna wreck him completely there we go 78 not bad i think we can do better than that boons weren't bad the pathing path is not the rng is like not a huge factor here it certainly for the uh, the blight cleansings because you have a ton of ice and the uh, rocky patches I, th I think it's what they're called the uh, the tiles that you can't water but you can plant on so you have a lot of like ways to manipulate the pathing I like shadow links um, I'm kind of wondering if honey bear's better though I don't know though because the problem Arugi could be really good as well. I didn't feel like Shadow Links was super helpful here. I'd probably do it a rookie this time, just to be a uh, boof up, boof, boof up. 
I was gonna say boost or beef, and I said boof. Um, <laughs> I want him to be near plants to increase their damage. I kind of look like a thorny on this one. Bossart was cool too, but I feel like a thorny on that wraparound was like something I would very much love. I didn't get my other Tema. I think that was the one I didn't get, unless I only picked one last time. I, I might have only grabbed one. I think I might grab two Dark Creepers. I'm gonna grab the two Temas. Dark Creeper, Sapweed for sure. Aquafern wasn't really important. So I'm gonna do the double Dark Creeper again because I do wanna make sure I get a Dark Creeper at some point. And then I'll do a Blast Sword still, I think. I don't think I need Aquafern. Now, if Aquafern's watering, that actually could be good. But I don't need him for the solvent. So I'll actually do that. Because if he's watering for me um, in a really good spot, Oh, the, the audio came back. Just realized that. I don't think it was playing earlier for some reason. But the ad, after the ad played, it seemed to come back. I think it's, it has to do with my emulator. It, it acts really wonky sometimes. Yeah, I like the setup. I like the composition here. How much faster do they go? Let me see that. I feel like they're super fast. Yeah, it's only 15%. It does give us latitude to like really kind of do those score boosting type of decisions. Okay, we're gonna get Aquafern. Okay, so this is like a key planting here. So let's, it gave me the Aquafern. I gotta put him in the right spot. It's gonna, it's gonna decide everything. So, if I put Aquafern, I'll make him uh, represent him with a blue. I was thinking here. And what that will do is it will water this. So, it's gonna hit, if I have the guys, Walking like they did last time. That's the dinkiest line I've ever seen. Now we're cooking. All right, so if they go, whoop. And I can't do that last time. They, they have to go this way. That would give me water, 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 water. Wasted, wasted. Unless I convert that, but well, it won't really matter. I could put Aquafern there. Then water, water. All of these are watered, which is crazy. If I shift it over, I could do that. All these guys are gonna have to go down this way, which I'm okay with. So the other option is this. I convert Aquafern to make the, him convert this to a water tile. So he's getting watered. And then it's water, 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 water. These two are water. That could be that could be really good. I think I'm gonna do that. I do need some cleansings to work my way, but let's get him down. Now it's gonna create make this wave a little wonky. Because it actually kind of works out though. Like that. Next wave, they're coming up from there, okay. I don't want to save the energy. I think we have enough for this wave. Especially because they're gonna, they're gonna be slowed down. I could do that, but I wanna make sure next wave I have the energy I need to give me some good cleansings. I wanna, that one energy might be really clutch there. So I think this is good for this wave. The Ruby's gonna be carrying the team here. But basically, these will be helping a little bit. Aquifer will help a little bit. Nice. Ooh, right. Like that. Nice spoon. Let's get this converted to, um, to a stream tile. And then...
This is where it gets interesting because I need to... Love a cleansing here at some point. It's not urgent now, but this one, is that important? Not really. It's not in his range of watering. I think for this wave, it's a matter of just building, starting building this wall. But I need to think about the wall. Am I building this as my wall? Or do, they, do I want them going this way? I think I want them going this way because I want to put some good guys here. This would be a good spot then. I got to plant those guys too and I can put Tema in one of those spots. Probably this corner spot would be really good for Tema because it doesn't really matter that he's um, on the periphery, he's still getting watered. Yeah, this will be... There's gonna be a lot of them. I'm not... These cleansings I do not like, so I'm not really gonna take that. I'm just gonna spend the energy to block this up, because I need to do that next round anyway. Oh, I want to get the sap we planted. That's very important. Where I put him isn't super critical. I mean, I guess here would probably be good, so they're sl he's slowing down at this point. Um, but he won't be getting watered. Right? Like I should put him somewhere in this area. So I'm gonna put him right on this edge here, I think would be nice. This would also be good for um, a dark creeper. Like if I could, I'd love to put sapweed here, but I don't have that opportunity right now. So I'm gonna probably go here. I think that would be plenty good. Plus he's gonna get watered. And so that slowness is gonna stay with those guys. And they'll probably goop puddle and then they're gonna remain slow. Wow, I'm gonna block that too. Uh, no, I want them. I'm gonna go next to this guy so he gets a little extra damage. I'm gonna give this guy the range now. Be a little preemptive, but I think we don't hit armored guys until like wave three or, or wave four, if I recall correctly. Hmm. That might be overkill at this point. Yeah, especially with um, Arugi where he is. I, I think it's overkill. I'm just going to wait it out. But this guy's going to do some decent damage. He's doing six damage now. And then once it's double damage, he'll be doing 12. So he'll be doing um, pretty good output. Excellent. Uh, not a good, not a good boon round. Terrible boon round. I would want an infusion at this point, so that stinks. I guess just cleanse some blight. Okay, they gave me this. Uh, okay, I can live with that. Uh, a thorny here would be really good. Uh, no, you guys are going to go a long way. And then... Ah, oh man. I need a cleansing here. They did not give me that. That really bites. But what I am going to do at least is get irrigator going. Everyone's getting watered, and then I'll put a thorn here because I do want him there. Unfortunately, they didn't give me... Well, this is going to be a tough round because I didn't get enough to lock that. That sucks. Yeah, not, not a good situation here. I can at least give this guy range now so that he's helping out in that capacity. That will be very helpful. Um, and then I can put a seed here will probably help in the long run. And I'll probably put a guy there eventually anyway. Though, well, I actually want them. Hmm. Not oh, great. I really need a cleansing, like, right here. I'll just take this for points. And to reduce the, like, increase the odds that I get a cleansing over here next time. I think we can not get hurt here, but... Yeah, we're doing good. This is this wasn't even close at all. I didn't, I didn't even need to growl. I'm kind of bummed I didn't get a good boon there. Yeah, all right, got a boon. All right, I got a boon. Um, I wanted a, a plant. 
All right, here we go. De it's decent chance, I guess. All right, sweet. That's perfect. I'll happily take that. I'm still waiting for my muscle branch. I'm going to probably just put like a sapweed. I need to put a dark creeper down eventually. They're not giving that to me yet. I'll put a sapweed here. I would be open to having this opened as well. Because that is getting watered. Yeah, I think a dark creeper here is going to be really good. But, yeah. Or here. So that's really where dark, um, Thorny is. And I do have two dark creepers as well, so... I want Muscle Branch here. So Muscle Branch, Dark Creeper, uh, I, that just leaves me with this spot until I get more uh, cleansings. So I think I'm actually going to hold off on doing anything else because I want to save that energy. And then I do another Temma I'm waiting for too. They haven't given me that yet, which stinks. Yeah, I'm waiting for that Dark Reaper. I don't have anti-armor yet. Wow. That's a little scary. Probably do... Yeah, the Goop Puddle's really effective. Alright, let's have to go for it. I think Arugi can chip away enough at the uh, Armadons, but... We will see. We've got, yeah, we have a lot of volume here, so... Authority's gonna do some good work, but... Look at that, I mean, oh man. Rugi's, yeah, not strong enough to deal with those guys. That is terrifying. I picked two Dark Creepers. But yeah, this is so much, so many hits that we're able to chip away at those armor guys, which is good. We really need the time. It's slow going. That, or I'm, I'm itching for Dark Creeper or Muscle. Oh, well, thank you. I'll take a Muscle that way. Thank you. Boons, because my bag is frozen and stinking. Now we got, but yeah, Star Creeper, perfect. Now we can get that going. Oh boy, oh boy, oh no. Oh no. I don't have enough radiance though. Oh man, I'm regretting the goop puddle because I needed it for anti armor. No. Darn it, I think I'm screwed. I don't think we have enough to tear that guy down. Armosaurus Rex is going to be a problem. I'm going to screenshot this, but we're going to, in all likelihood, get hit now. Unless I send him down like this crazy path. Where is he? Over there. Uh, okay, well, let me get this cleansing. That was a very good cleansing. Um, Because that will be watered. So I do want to put a plant there. Oh, man, it's going to be tough, though. Very tough. I'm not looking forward to this. Alright, is everyone watered? Yeah, they're all getting watered by Aquafern. That's the, the risk you take, right? I mean, I could have avoided it by not doing the, the, the... I did that too early. That was silly of me. I wasn't thinking. Because this guy's going to just trounce right through. Everyone else, I'm not too worried about. These guys are a little heavy. Let's slow everyone down here. Armor Source to Rex, he's got a, we got to zero in on him. It's going to be really hard. I'm gonna keep growling like a boss. Actually, I want to growl too. Like right, well, I probably, have a, I probably have time for two more. Yeah, I'll be able to get one more, I think, in, but while he's next to... It's gonna be close. Come on, guys. Get him again. Oh, one more. No! No! Yeah, I... I that was closer than I thought it would be. But... Man, that's kind of too bad, too, because we had, we had a pretty good run. We had some good boons and stuff. But I dropped the ball on that Radiance planning. It's tricky because there's so much to think about. Seniors, large car. You know? But you do have the time. It's completely my fault. I'm not making excuses. I just... I was a little worried about the armored guys in the previous round. But, like, when you don't get Dark Creeper early... I picked two of them. Uh, and it's just the way that the... The infusion bag RNG was. Um, 
because I was committed to having Aquifer not use solvent. And I don't regret that decision. It's just that I, I do regret um, putting the tier two radiance and sapweed. I should have recognized I needed more radiance. I need, I need to save radiance to get Dark Reaper. Once I get Dark Reaper or Muscle Branch, that would have been fine too. They gave me both in essence. But either way, I didn't have enough radiance to get either of them to tier two. And that was, that was silly. So I'm gonna do a Rugi. I like the composition. Um, I did Thorny, Muscle Branch, a Blastwort, two Temmas, a Sapweed, two Dark Creepers. Oh, no, I think I did not do Blastwort. I did Aquifer. Aquifer and two Temmas. I want the two Temmas earlier. My, my dream would be um, for like the infusion bag draws would be in the first four waves, get Aquifer and Tema, Tema, Dark Creeper. That would be sweet. All right, let's try it again. Uh, I liked that setup last time. Now, I think I need to take this, I need to take this cleansing though. That's a really nice cleansing. And now it's, it's actually a really tight situation because one, two, three, four seedlings, that would make, give me confidence on fighting these guys. But then it gives me three energy. That's a blight cleansing. I actually have to put sapweed on one of these. So um, that's okay, I'll do that. It's a fantastic cleansing. That was awesome. Um, and then we're going to do one, two, three, four. And then we'll put this guy here. It's actually not a bad spot. Now, this is where I'm hoping for Aquafern or Dark Creeper or Tama. Get that energy going. Nice. Okay, good start. And that's fantastic because I'm I'm ready to go here with um, Thorny. So Thorny would be really good here. I'm planning to have them wrap around here. Um, though this is the last game for me. This was a rock, so I could have them all wrap around this way. I do want Aquifer in here again. I think that's a really good place to just like use this central area. So let's get that going. That'll help me plan. Turn into a fountain so he gets leveled up. Wow, that's a really good cleansing. Oh, that's a fantastic cleansing. Yeah, I think I need to take that. Right, I can do two. Four. Oh, that is, wow, they're giving me, a, oh, yes, they gave me a, amazing cleansings this round. Now I need to get Thorny in action here, so can I pull that off, right? If I do, I want to actually commit it. I was going to try and screenshot it while hovering, but I don't think it would have worked. Um, the, if I do this, that's the path they're gonna follow. If I have them go like this, that'd be amazing if I can do this. This guy is gonna be watering right here. Okay. So I can do plant, 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 plant. Plant, and if I want, I can even go out to here and just have a Rugi be in the middle, which would be really cool. And then, what I want, why well, I want to draw this, I want to make sure I can block everything at the top. Block. Uh, hold on. I should go this way. Yeah, I can. Dang. And then I would block. I probably won't block there. I'll probably do, for at least to start, I'll do this. Wow, yeah, that's, that's the dream. Get this in front. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, that's my setup that I want. Okay. Let's clear up my screenshots here. Okay, um, that is amazing. Because yeah, this thorny here is gonna be VIP. I could put Dark Reaper here. So all the fights are really going on up here. Arugi's very involved. Like that is gonna be awesome. So I'll get him down and then I'll get... Now they're coming out this way next time. So I might want to save that energy. I'll probably actually want to start building this out because next wave we need a lot of energy. It's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. Or at least through here, I'll probably need to plant. So and Rudy might have to move. We'll see how things shake out, but I want to actually go here this wave too, because I'll be next to Thorny, give him extra strength. And I'll, I'll, save, on, I'll save that energy. It's not important. And I got to be careful with my Radiance. Uh, but I think we can easily take this down. That Thorny's going to be really helpful with uh, next to Arugi. Because now, look at this. Thorny normally does 4 damage. It does 5. And now it's just 2 hits to kill a Slimeling. It's a subtle thing, but it makes a difference. Because now Thorny's only attacking twice per Slimeling, not 3 times. When you consider that Arugi's also pelleting them. Um, sure, I'll take another Aquifer. Why not? Okay. And I got 2 plants. And this one's a cheap one. This is a... This is... Wonderful. Um, I still haven't got my Dark Creeper. Um, hopefully I get that next wave. I'm getting a little nervous there, but... We do have the pathing we need, which is incredible. Which is... Ricky's probably going to go up that... Oh, they are coming out of here, so that's... I do have to block this. Okay, um, it's going to be a little tight here. I can spend Radiance for a little extra energy. I need to do something about this. It's costly. And they're not getting pushed into Thorny. Um, ooh, this way. Ooh, I probably should have planted there and then there. Darn it. Yeah, I might need to spend Radiance on some energy. Really want to send them that way. So this is kind of a dud, but. And I do want to block this. But that's a really good spot for Dark Creeper. And I got to plant these two. I got to definitely plant some uh, now because I need to use um, get some uh, Radiance. I want to put him in like a, an ice tile. And I already planted. Well, this guy's actually going to be helpful now because I can plant him. He'll get watered. And he's not in you know, arguably a crucial spot, but he's also on ice there. So... I think, I think there's the best spot for Tama. We're going... Oh, I don't need to actually... Eh, I do want to block that. Ideally this round, but the question does become, do I use Radiance on energy? Gotta point this guy. The question's where? And I want Muscle Branch here. So I think it's worth... Well... That's the question. Where do I put them? I guess I'll prefer to go here. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend one energy, gain one energy, and then we're gonna do the. I gotta be careful. So if I get to our creeper, I may want to invest in the anti armor. I kind of want to get everyone leveled up now, plus the energy. I think it's it's worth doing that now. So by going into uh, the the fight for wave five, as long as I save radiance the next wave which I failed to do last time, I think will be good. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll, I'll get this Aquifern down. Uh, probably here? Like, I'll probably put the other Tema here. That's such a, like, a little corner spot. This would be a better spot for a fighter. Okay, I feel really good about this. Got all the watering set up now. Water, 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 water. Uh, that one, I can't put something there. I don't, I don't want to, but here I have one, two, three, four, five, six more spots for plants. That should be more than enough. Now, if they give me tons of infusions, I will not say no. We'll accommodate that. Maybe I cleanse this spot. This is a really nice spot for a Ruby because he's going to be surrounded by plants. Oh my goodness, another Tema. Okay, this is definitely high score potential here. That's crazy. I didn't get, 
I'm still waiting for my other Tema. And they give me Dark Reaper, which is huge. That let's get that done first. That is so important. Oh, that's a beautiful spot. Oh. Now the only scary part is that Muscle Branch is only here, but they're gonna be really slow here. Especially if I give Sapweed range. He's not getting oh, you're not getting leveled up, dude. Son of a gun, I missed that completely. Oh, darn it. I think here would be really good. I totally missed that. Man. That's a blunder. But now we have more energy, so it's not like the worst thing in the world, but that is. I don't think that was open before, though. I think I. I yeah, I planted him in wave one, so. You know. I had to plant him, so I think that's a fair exchange there. Um. I'm going to save this Radiance so that I don't think we need anything else this wave. Um, would it be nice to slow down those armored guys here with the range? Maybe? Here's the thing. As long as I get... I'm going to get the two Radiance for not getting hurt. I got to save that for Dark Creeper. So I'm okay spending one range on this. It's going to really secure the victory. Um, I could put another plant here. But I'm going to save. I don't think we need anything else for this wave. I think we got this. This is the last spot I'd probably say like, hey, it'd be nice if we get a Blight, blight Cleansing right on this spot. I would be okay with that. But I can also put something right here. That's perfectly valid. Because they'd, they'd go like this. If I can force these guys to go this way, that would be really nice, but I don't think it's super important. Wow, we really crushed them this compared to the last attempt. That was way better. There he is. Well, there, not there he is, but there's another one. I'll take that. Put him there. Okay, let's get this anti-armor going. That's going to decimate Armosaurus Rex. Another Dark Creeper. Not close to that. Uh, we could do some like poison damage or something. Um, but it's not really a high priority, honestly. My goal is get him water. That's what I care about most. And we are running out of spots. Um, they didn't give me any cleansings here, so I might have to put him in like a weird spot, like right here, which is like completely useless. Um, what I might do is put him down here, so that's a little longer. Double damage. You have to make kind of a weird decision there because it's like I just want him to get watered, frankly, for points. Um, I do have a lot of energy. And I think we have enough to fight all this. So I think I'm just going to cleanse for points. Uh, let me be thoughtful about where I cleanse. Probably here is a good one. Nice. Yeah, I cleansed uh, five spots. That one's a little awkward. Um, this one's good because it's all these. Not Oh. Uh, that's not great, but I guess I'll keep Muscle Branch. You know what? That's actually not bad. I'll keep Muscle Branch focused on up here. Because if he swings something below and then turns around and he's waiting and there's something coming down the pike here, I really need him to be on his game here. He has a small window here of anti-armor that I want to leverage. There's still the double Since he's now water, the double damage will linger, but the armor wears out the moment they leave the pink zone. That does not carry over with the... Um, extra double damage that the, when you water it's specifically vulnerability duration which is specifically double damage not all the radiance effects that you also apply to dark creeper um so yeah i think that's uh you know what? i could take this one because it might cleanse this as high, high likelihood of something wonderful so now that two more spots for plants that's setting me up for the next waves here because I don't need to do another watering, that's fantastic. This one's a pretty good spot, because it'll, it'll probably cleanse this guy, which I don't like, he's kind of isolated. There we go, nice. And it pushed out left, so this is really good for um, my quest to maybe clear the map. I do like the uh, the, the scoring, based on how many Blight Cleansings you do, uh, just because it kind of goes with the lore of the game, you're trying to cleanse the Blight, um, so you feed it get rewarded for that from a score perspective makes a lot of sense oh my goodness there's a lot of slimings i definitely have to growl there or it felt like i it was a prudent thing to do this and this anti-armor zone is so fantastic 
Like, this guy will get decently far, but... Not, he's, they're not gonna make it. Like, this is a really good... Oh my goodness, another Tema? That is insane. I have still gotten my other Tema, but... I think, it, I think it is true that when you grab eight plants, you're not gonna get all eight of them. You're only gonna get seven. So it is an interesting situation to be in. Um, but I've been getting a lot of infusions from the drops and all that from the boons. So uh, we're in good shape here. I think we're gonna do, it's like my last two spots. And I have to make a, a decision. Um, these are both great spots. It's three and three. So I'll just, I guess I'll put, um, I don't even know. I don't know if it matters that much, but I want to get these two guys down. Uh, I do want to get, I could get away with extra energy, but I'm going to probably wait till the last wave so that this guy can really help out on this wave with a goot puddle. This guy I want to get ideally with extra damage, but I don't think with, since we have anti-armor, I don't know if that, that's hugely important to get Pomp Iron. It might be for the Blight Colossus, but these guys are going to be pretty jacked up. Like he's going to be a beast by the end. I do want to ideally get these both up to um, tier two for a score for a score perspective. So for this wave, I will do this Goop Puddle. I may have him do the goop everywhere though. He does prefer non-goop though, so I have to be careful with that. I'm, I think I'm gonna do goop puddle. And then, that's a really stinky cleanse, it's all by itself, I don't like that. Um, I'll probably take this one. And... This might create an island, but I'll try it. Nice, ooh, that's interesting, more ice. That's, I'd rather have one in the middle somewhere. But interestingly, that's going to give me um, more spots where I can put plants. I might need to put a plant here next wave. <laughs> it's kind of stinky, but to avoid having to water again. Or I move the aquifer in somewhere else. We'll see. This is not a bad cleansing, though. It's all these right here. I don't think it'll reach this one, though. I'll probably hold off because I'd rather have one in the middle. Or has the potential to clear all five of those. Okay, uh, I think we're good for this wave. Make sure everyone's watered. Yep. I'm gonna have a lot of energy next wave too. Because I have um, these two Temmas leveling up. Yeah, I got three there. I think he just went to level five. So I have five energy already plus seven. It's off 12. Should be able to have a, a nearly cleansed map here. I, I won't go for the cleansings if there's like one or two. If there's one by itself, it's not really worth it in my calculations because you're spending two energy to get 35 points. I'd rather plant two seedlings and get 50 points. Yeah, this isn't even close. The cleansings were so good. Oh, yeah, baby. That is juicy. All right. I think the sapweed is like, maybe in this set, if you get a good setup, like it's kind of overkill. Like I, that's where I probably only take like seven plants and then just really try to get to the two Temas. They gave me two Temas, but I still have one that I never actually got that's in my bag. And now I have this weird situation where I have a muscle branch and it's like, well, this is awesome, but I don't want to water again. Now, this is a, uh, this is a good cleansing. Should clear all five, boom. And then these two are stupid. Um, I'll take this one. Wow, that was a really good cleansing. So I can't really do anything with that. But now here's the thing. If these two are going to get watered, so then do you do this? I could do this. Ooh, okay. I could probably bump them. Let me see where the boss is coming from. I like losses coming out of there. Yeah. Dude, it'd be nice to send Blight Colossus this way. Really nice. But then it's like, I have to water Muscle French separately. 
when I could just be planting seedlings. I really want to get everyone leveled up here, so I have to do this kind of wonky thing now. Do I want them here or here? Depends if I want to push, put a seedling and put them there. There's already two ice here. I, I don't think it's important. I don't really actually want Blight Colossus to be slow down there. I'm going to just do this. And then I'm going to go for extra energy. Just plant as many seedlings as possible. These are not worth it to me, so I'm just going to plant seedlings. Everyone's getting watered by Aquifern, which is incredible. Very energy saving. And then I think just beast up my um, attackers here. They're slower, but I think it's worth it. And then there, there. Why not? Okay. Uh, two Radiance still. Nice. Um, energy? <laughs> Just to really milk that score. So I, I feel confident in the team here, and, I, and I'll do plus 30 damage. I think that'll be really good. Could even do a stun. But I think plus 30 damage is more important. All right, 78, I'm gonna get a ton of points from all the watering. I'll, I'll, I was gonna push me over 80, I think. 81, nice. Yeah, that worked out really well. Um, I mean, I'm not out of the woods here. I, I took a lot, I made a lot of like, radiance decisions that were for scoring and not for damage output, but we just demolished the arms resurrects. This guy is the real test here. But he's leading the pack and he's isolated, so I feel really good about that. I'm gonna do a growl, slow everyone down. Just really give the team time to destroy this guy. Plus the sapweed. I guess a triple slow right there. I'm gonna do another one, because I'll have time for a third one. Because we really gotta pummel this guy. Nice, nice. Get him again. Oh, we got him. See, like, not, not the close, that wasn't like an easy, clear victory. Because once he got out of here, it would have been a little scary but you kind of make those decisions to say, okay, well, how can I maximize my score? You have to, that is, that is, ele that's an element of the scoring system I really do like is it's forcing you to make decisions that weaken your, your, your damage output, like lower your damage output for a higher score. And you have to kind of decide how greedy you want to be. And it, it takes, a, I think just a lot of plays to kind of get a sense of um, the, like, you have to feel the damage that your team can do because it's hard to kind of calculate everything. There are some maps that we've done that there was one map in particular with a bunch of Dreadwoods and you had to, like, really kind of math out what is the minimum I can put here and looking at the HP of the enemy, the armor of the enemy to figure out what can I put here because I need to deal with, like, two other situations where they're very, like, isolated mini battles and figuring out how you can like use your energy as efficiently as possible to make sure you can kill everything. Um, that was a very interesting map, but like with maps like this, it's like there's too many things converging to math it all out and you kind of just have to feel and go, oh, okay, I think this Radiance, I can just buy the Tema energy, um, use my Radiance to buy Tema energy rather than making my, my forces stronger knowing that the energy is going to give me a slightly higher score. Anyway, that's my little aside on that. But um, okay, let's do that again. I, I, everything worked out really well. Now, one thing I will change is since I'm only going to see seven of these, I get one initially, so wait one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no point in picking an eighth one, in my opinion. It's like, just pick the seven you want. Oh, you do have to pick eight though, darn it. I just realized that. It's, sometimes they do it where you have more slots available. Um, but you don't, you don't have to fill them up. This one you're actually required to. So I think my original strategy then's fine, which is muscle branch, thorny, two Temas, two dark reapers. Let's try and get one of them early. Sap weed, aqua fern. But, 
also what they gave me for boon infusions was fantastic. Like they gave me the muscle branch that I needed. Um, I ended up not getting Tema. That was the one that was left out. I ended up getting my my muscle branch that I picked at the end there, if I recall. I think they they gave me the, either that or I got the one that I picked earlier. I can't remember. Okay, so now um, not getting this is a good this is a good, potentially good one. Um, so I kind of want to take that. Start opening this up. I didn't want them to put a rock there, so I stood there. Uh, and now they're giving me that, which is like, oh, I would love that. But I gotta do something about this. I gotta plant that aqua fern too, so that's Oh dicey. Dicey dicey. Uh-oh. Because I want to plant this guy. I have to plant this guy. I want to put him there again. So the risk I take is this. Which is terrifying. Oh, man. This is... I don't know if we're going to make this. <laughs> I do this, but then it's like... Everything's in slow motion. It's like, I don't know if that's enough. If, if he's attacking half, half speed, which is what that does, they get chill. 50% 50, 50 slower attack speed. That's going to be brutal. This is the best I can do. I might get hurt here. But they are going slow for three tiles, so if I do a well-timed growl, we might be okay. Yeah, I actually looking pretty good. But it's gonna get a little dicey right around here, right this spot. I gotta wait for the last two. Come on, guys. Come on. You got it, you got it, go! Yes! Ooh. That was scary. That was scary. Okay, uh, this is a good spot. Very good spot. Okay. Uh, I go up here. Probably Tema. I got a fire flyer. Okay, interesting. I probably want to put him a bit earlier. Um, if I do Thorny again here, that'd be great. So I can put like, but the Dark Creeper here was so good though. I really liked that. So I'm gonna put Fire Flyer probably here. Rookie there was really nice though, but I I'm. I'd rather have plants along all this area. And the nice part of this one too is I don't I didn't have to plant sapweed here. Let's get the fountain going. Um yeah, let's put Tema in like I like him in like this corner spot. And then Fire flower. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about where to put them. I guess on the outside here would be pretty cool. Sapweed there was really nice, though. Maybe out here? Yeah, that could work. Won't help me much this round, but... And then I gotta start blocking this up. I'm gonna get that party started probably now. I'll probably go here. And here. Okay, this should be fine. I should have moved the Rugi over here, though. I just realized that he's not that involved. It's a little scary. Oh, I don't know. I might have screwed that up. That's a lot to deal with over there. Crap. Come on, guys. Yes, I got another Growl in there. That was... Wow, and if you... another Tema. Double Tema! I'm going to have so much energy now. Right, let's block that. I mean, this is really a good way for Tama because this is like the the wall round where I had to make a, a little impasse here. I don't have my thorny yet, so that's a little terrifying. Okay, I can do one. Let's get the watering going. I'm gonna put seeds for. I need to put a seed here, definitely. That's really nice. If I can set them all around Fire Flower, I'd feel a lot better about that. And then the question becomes do I like just build a wall out this way? It's like the best use of, at least right now, while I'm still having Blight to Cleanse, rather, or I just put one seedling there. 
Or do I do one, two, three? And I think they're still gonna go that way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that easy plug there, and then I'm gonna work towards probably this is gonna get plugged. Eventually this too, and then I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think if they have to go like this around Thorny, I'm hoping I get this cleansed. Um, then I'm going to put a Tema here as well. So much energy. I love that. Yeah, this is really shaking out. I was really scared at the beginning. I was like, oh no. That would suck to just get hit right in the beginning. But now we're, we have a really good foundation. Tons of energy. Now it's going to come down to, can I get like my Dark Creeper? Can I get my Thorny? I'm hoping for one of those like very soon. I actually did get some damage dealers. The Firefly is actually going to be one of my da main damage dealers at this point because he's going to be level five at the end there. That'll help a lot. But it's a big basic seed game. I did not get another infusion. Okay, that's going to make it a little hard to get a higher score. But um, very well. Sapping's nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> is it enough to deal with these armored guys? I don't know. But I will go for that long range in that uh, sticky uh, uh, goo puddle at this point. So we really need some help here. Wow, this is a really interesting scenario because it's like, well... I don't have this blight cleansing, so I'm going to try to get this cleansed. Uh, so, because we're running out of... We're not running out of spots, but I have one, two, three spots left. But I want to get this one opened up. And then... So this is a good spot. Oh, they gave it to me. Perfect. Let me, I don't really want to rock here. So let me try this. Boom. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll start putting seedlings um, here. Here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put plants there eventually. Um, this would be a nice cleansing spot, I think. Gives me options for later. Ooh, another ice tile. I'll take that. Very good. Okay. And then I'll hold on to this because I'll get two. If I get two, I need Dark Creeper next round. If I do not get Dark Creeper and I don't get rewarded with another Aquifer, I'm, I'm kind of screwed. I could get Muscle Branch. That might be sufficient. I think it would be if I get a. So I need a Muscle Branch or a Dark Creeper. I'm going to be dead. I, I wager. Look at these guys. I don't want to growl now because I don't want them to get too clumpy. But once these guys wrap around and then these guys are below me, I can growl more safely. So everyone's getting hit there. They're kind of out of range right now. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. There's good. All right. Oh boy, this is going to get interesting. So they gave me another Tava. They gave me a Thorny, which, okay. I do not have Dark Reaver or Muscle Branch. Can this guy do anything to help me? Oh boy, this is bad. Just the way this all worked out, I do not have... I have all the seedlings in the world, but I do not have something to fight this guy. Um... I might have to call a weird audible where I like move all my Temos around a Rugi <laughs> and then just do like three companionships so that he's doing um, 50 damage. That's probably my only shot. <laughs> Actually, because now it's just survival mode. Like I don't think there's any other way to beat this guy. Maybe Fireflower could like help to some capacity. I might have to move him up. Deprioritize Thorny. Thorny's not going to do a whole lot against this guy without the double damage and the anti armor. It's like all up to a Rugi. And even with a Rugi, I don't think it's going to matter though because uh, Armor Source Rex is insane. Armor Source Rex has 100 armor. So even if I get a Rugi up to 50 damage, it's going to still only be one damage. Yeah, that's, this is like impossible now, unfortunately. I don't see any way to beat this. I can try to get this cleansing going, so I can do that. 
than that, at least to prolong it as much as possible, but it's like prolonging the inevitable, I feel. I don't know what to do. I think we're, we're totally screwed here. Not to be a pessimist, but it's just like, uh, how do you possibly deal with that? Can, how do, wait, what do you mean I can block that? Oh, okay. I, yeah, I guess you can. I forgot they can go that way. Okay, we'll do that. But I don't think we can beat this. At least you'll encounter this guy, and it's like, I, okay, maybe it's by my best, my best bet. Like, all right. Put as many burning stacks on there as you can, buddy. We're gonna need it. And then from here, I think just a cleansing. If we survive this, and then I guess a, a, a seedling here. Yeah, I don't feel good about this, man. Armor source rush, we have to hit him 500 times. That is extremely difficult. Now, this guy's going to do actually a lot of damage because he attacks extremely fast. Thorny does attack generally very fast. But the other problem is that this stinking guy is in the midst... Oh, I'm almost hurt up there. Wow. Now, let's do a growl. Get everyone slowed down. I'm just going to keep growling. I got to get that armor source Rex to be... He's not even getting hurt right now. A little bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, can I get one more growl on him, hopefully? Yes, got him. Because he's about to go out of range. It's a range of three. His attack range is two, but the growl range is three. Come on, Fire Flower. Lay it on, dude. At least we got a moment there where... He's still heat exhausted, but you know, he's going really slow. He still has the heat exhaustion. Okay, now the heat exhaustion wore off. He's a little faster. <sighs> dude, it's just too many. It's too... We can't hit him 500 times. It's going to be impossible. We're going to get him, like, maybe halfway, but at best, but it's still too much. How do we do that? Like, the only other way I could have done it is if I went for solvent, but that completely derails my strategy. So, not sure what else we can do here. Yeah, that's, that's just the way the RNG works. Like, it worked out. Oh, hey, Muscle Branch. Good to join the party, man. One round late, dude. But that's the way it goes. You know, so you can't always... You know, that's kind of the, the element of greed there. It's like, okay, well, I I wanted that. You know, I really needed it. I think the only other way to really kind of uh, counteract that a bit is if you pick, like, instead of me picking Thorny, but I pick, like, two Aquaferns. Because then... Um, I have better odds of getting something to deal with it. If I at least had a, another Aquifer in that round, they gave me Thorny... If I'd gone Aquifern, second one, then I could have done Solvent and that would have, we would have survived. So that's probably the other thing I could think of to counterbalance that, that situation. I think just for the sake of playing, we'll just, I just kind of want to goof around at this point. I'm very, my strategy is like very cemented at this point, so I can kind of move through the last two waves here relatively fast. Uh, but that is a bummer. Because it was going pretty good. And they just gave me... Um, well, they did not give me a, uh, I don't, they didn't give me another plant there, I don't think, unless I just planted it without thinking, but, um, you know, it's, it's a little tricky. The EB, wow, I was able to fully cleanse the map, so that'll be next wave, but that's kind of cool. And then from a fighting perspective, that was the last thing I really needed. Um, the Dark Creeper would be helpful, though, <laughs> still. Um, and I want to put him here, but I don't even know if I'm going to get him. So I'm just gonna hit play here. This wave should be pretty easy. Still no double damage, so it'll actually be a little hard, maybe, but I, the, the path is so solid. And that Fire Flower is beast mode, so he's actually gonna be very effective. That, those burning stacks add up. Tons of little micro hits on those armor guys. And then we have a Muscle Branch. We're already taking a whack at those big guys.
Yeah, not great boons, but... Uh, let me see what I have for... So I might actually do... Because when you do tier 2, it's... Uh, 1400 divided by 4. So it's 350 a pop. Which slightly outweighs putting a Dark Reaper down and getting him leveled up. That would be... Uh, each level up of plants, I think, is 150. So total plant levels, 5550 divided by 37. Yeah, 150. Level 1 counts as 1. So if I plant him and get him water, that's 300. A tier 2 radius is actually better. Can I get a tier 2 radiance if I do that? Um, yes. Right now I can, well, not exactly, because I'm going to be able to get one anyway with 3. That'll leave me with one. And this isn't a plus two radiance, it's a one. So I don't think it's actually worth it. So I'm just gonna do that. So I get two Dark Reapers down. Um, I'm gonna do a little switcheroo here. Get a better coverage. We're gonna do plus one zone range. We're gonna do danger zone. Um, and then I guess just get it spread out down here. So we'll do right here is fine. Spread that out a little farther, and then uh, plus one, what would be most effective? I think we're strong enough, so I'm just going to do extra energy. I'm going to clear the rest of the blades. It's kind of cool we're able to clear the whole map. That's pretty neat, and at this point, it's just putting plans along the way. Why not? Alright, that should be it. So I think we'll clear this without any issue, especially with double damage. Double damage in wave 7. It's kind of cool to survive it without double damage for so long. Um, just a bummer that my score got completely wrecked. I'm kind of curious what I would have ended up at. So I, I think I'm at... I still hard to read this thing. Uh, it's 78. So that, that took off 7,800 points. Yes, I don't know this would have been a better score than my last run. I mean, they gave me tons of energy, which is insane. Yeah, 7,800 plus the multiplier that I had. Let me just screenshot this before I lose it. We'll take a look at that after. Um, yeah, Muscle Break's gonna tear through this guy. This is probably the most damage we've done to this guy before he got here. But I did do a lot less like energy radiances. I invested in Fire Flower to try and help me on that uh, wave five. But yeah, I guess what's interesting is, so it's not merely 7,800, like yes, baseline. Um, Where is it? Ever seed HP. So it's every HP is 100, right? So I lost 7,800 7, points, but you also think about the multiplier, right? So, I think it would have been, yeah, 7,800, 7, but then you're talking about plus 125% of that. So it's 2.25 times 7,800. Screenshot that here. So it would have been 63,888 plus 17,000. That would have been my estimated score. So I don't think I would have beat I got like 83, I think. So that would make me feel better about this. <laughs> that even if I didn't get hit, yeah, I wouldn't have beat my score. So, but it got pretty close. I think that round I had was really good. They gave me like the tier two radiant. They gave me the plus two radiance at the end, plus like, what was it, like four or five infusions? I think it was like five. So it turned out really well. Um, but yeah, that's my playthrough. If you enjoyed watching, I would appreciate a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.